Adventure fam and I am here with an awesome video for you guys. It is wait, did I hold it? Dada hold on that and let Dada wait. I'm gonna let you die wait. If you are new to this channel or you have not yet subscribed, smash that subscribe button right now. Turn on that bell notification because you do not want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Any of my upcoming idea. I have so many and most of them might be coming out in 2020 because the only a couple more weeks of 2019. And you know, I don't want to miss it. It's gonna be some good content coming your way. Yes. No laugh. But until then, today we're gonna discuss week 13 of NFL football action. This is a big week guys, big week, like intense. It's not only just Thanksgiving week, it's football weekend, all weekend long. Thursday, there's three games on Thursday. On Thanksgiving, with Thanksgiving is Thursday. There's three days on Thursday, so there's gonna be football action on Thanksgiving, and there's gonna be football action on Sunday. And even college on Saturday. Don't forget about that. So, let's get right into this. Let's, um, the very first game that thought the whole Thanksgiving break off is at, um, 12.30 on Thursday between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. Now, both of the teams, I think this is the second time playing each other. And they're average. They're not doing that great this season. They do way better than what they're doing. But just looking at both of the team and how well they're doing, the fourth line can beat, come out and beat the Bills. Don't get me wrong. Then the, if the Bills show up, they can come out and beat the Lions. So it did seem to go either way. Like, either way. It's gonna be a slow thing, that for sure. Maybe some special team action on doing that game. You know, who knows. And then the next game is at 4.30 on Thanksgiving. And this is a big one. I know a lot of males are going to be watching this one. This game is going to be Buffalo Bill, both Dallas Cowboy, and last weekend Buffalo Bill won. Like I said, they were going to would do. And they're eight and three. They're eight and three. The for the first time then 24 years ago. That's huge. Not even only that, Wayne Doyle, Buffalo Bear running back, Batman running back, Wayne Doyle, is now officially the third all-time back rushing play yard ever. He still passes Barry Sanders, and he's now in between Peyton, Washington Peyton and Barry Sanders. That's a huge accomplishment. Like, Buffalo had a great weekend last week. And now we're overturning that, and we have a very short week. Like, they're back to work, like, right after that game. Like, that game was good. Miami Dolphins game was good. Now we, now we gotta do a prime time holiday in Dallas football game in front of the whole a males, I guarantee a males are gonna be watching this game like crazy. Crazy. This game right here. And honestly, I'm a Bell fan and I like what my team is doing right now. So I think Buffalo can win. Like Cowboy only won this game and they lost five days. If Buffalo show up like they did on last Sunday and the third before that in Miami and all those games that they won if they keep doing what they're doing Buffalo can go out there and they can win Cowboys let's go let's go Buffalo we're on a move 
And then the last thing for Thanksgiving night is the New Orleans Saints with Drew Brees. Um, they won last week, but it was tight. It came down to the last session. It came down to a field goal. The Panthers, the Carolina Panthers came back in that one. And they're playing the Falcons. So the New Orleans thing might have an easy week this week. The Falcons not doing that good. And what New Orleans thing and Drew Brees did on Sunday, if they do that again, they have no problem. They're gonna win. Then we head into Sunday action. Starting out with the New York Jets, who helped the Buffalo Bills beat the Open Raiders. So that's what we needed. And then the, the New York Jets is thrown up against uh, 0 and 11 Bengals. I don't know if the Bengals gonna win a single day this year. They're not doing that bad. I might skip this to the New York Jets. Then we had into a very, very good matchup between the Indianapolis Toast and the Tennessee Titans. This is going to be so good. Both of these teams can win. These teams can win, especially with this matchup. This can go either way. This can go the Indianapolis Toast way. This can go the Tennessee Titans. This can go either way. Just watch it. I'm going to... I don't think I have to pick a win on that day because I know it could end up in the tie. That's how good it's gonna be. Then we got the Philadelphia Eagles but the Miami Dolphins. I want Miami Dolphins to beat the Eagles, but I don't see them doing that. So, but the Eagles is on a two-day losing streak. They lost the last two days. So, I don't know. Can the Eagles lose them then? I, I don't know. Then we got the Panthers versus the New York Giants. Panthers lost big time on Sunday night. Last Sunday night. They lost bad to the 49ers. But I'm telling you, 49ers and the Boston Ravens could be in the Super Bowl. Or 49ers and Buffalo Bills. You never know. It, it's getting that time of year of very good football team. Like, one of those three teams is done to go in the Super Bowl. I guarantee it. Like, all those haters on the Buffalo Bills, watch it. If we make playoffs, we're gonna be... We're gonna be showing up. Better than what we did two years ago when we made it for the first time in 17 years. Just watch. So, the pass is gonna win that one against the Giants. Then we got the Brown for the Steelers. You know, this just go into a tie. They tied week one, I think. Or was that last week? Last year week one. I don't know. That that just go into a tie. That can definitely go into a tie. It's gonna be a good matchup between that Brown team and the Steelers. And this is a division round matchup. They're both in the same division. And I think they're just that in time playing each other too. Then we got the West team but the Panthers. Panthers played so well on Sunday even though they lost by three. But they came back. I think they're going to throw out and get a W. And then the West team. Then we got the 49ers versus the Baltimore Ravens. This could be a Super Bowl mashup. Right here in week 13 could be a Super Bowl mashup. Honestly, I don't know who I'm going to pick. Both of these teams are playing so well, just like Buffalo. They're playing so well, this is go either way. If I had a pick winner, I kind of want to go with Lamar Jackson in that offense. But I kind of want to go with Jimmy Chihuahua in that offense. And then those defense, oh, this game could go down to the last session of the fourth quarter. And it could end in a tie. This is a Super Bowl matchup this week, guys. Watch out, America. Then we got the Los Angeles Rams versus the Arizona Cardinals. 
I I think I'm picking the Ram, but Tyler Murray doing some decent work. He's trying to prove on a little bit, but he's doing all right. But I think the Ram's gonna come out and win. Then we got the Chargers with the Broncos. The Broncos lost last week to the Buffalo, and they lost bad. Let me just tell you that, they got demolished. And the Chargers lost last week too. Not good. Oh wait, no, the Chargers went on the bye, my bad. But they still, they lost before their bye week. So they're, hunting for, they're both hunting for a win. Um, if I had to pick somebody, I might say Chargers. Just slightly over the Broncos. Slightly, just the slightest. I might say the Chargers. Then we got the Kansas City Chiefs, past the hole, and the Oakland Raiders. I'm sorry. Oakland Raiders coming off a loss. The Chiefs are coming off a bye. I think the I think Patrick Mahomes gonna come out and don't one, don't ham. The Heat gonna do ham. Then we got the shooting testing. Deshaun Watson going up against Tom Brady and the Patriots. I want Deshaun Watson to win the Patriots. So, shooting testing, JJ Watt, Deshaun Watson, go out there and beat Tom Brady. And then the Monday night game is between the Minnesota Vikings and the Seattle Seahawks. This game is going to be a good Monday night football game. Um, but I think Seattle is going to do it ahead by a little bit to end the day. But it's gonna be a good matchup. This is all either way. So, with that being said, that is all the Sweet 13 NFL action. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you like my warm energy voice. Sorry about that, my battery died. So, where will we? All right, let's talk about the closing part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my energy in this video because it's going to be an intense and exciting week of football in the pros. Anything can happen. But definitely pay attention to 49 for the Buffalo Ravens Super Bowl matchup. Pay attention to the Buffalo Bills. They're, they're making something happen. They are definitely a playoff attender. And if they make it in the playoffs, they're gonna play hard football to anybody, to any of those hit their opponents. So with that being said, I hope you're ready for this Thanksgiving football weekend. Not just because of college, but NFL too. Um, so with that being said, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. Eat a lot of food. Don't eat the toasty. Tootsie will put you to sleep. See that I knew that? See that I knew that the Tootsie will put you to sleep? They put another chemical in the Tootsie, don't eat it. Don't eat it. That's why after we all eat that big Thanksgiving meal, we're all on want to take a nap. If you said you eat the Tootsie, don't do it. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoy your holiday weekend. And find your magic moment. You are worth it. Believe in yourself. Be yourself. Make every day a new day. And be happy. Find those happy moments. Find those happy people. Find those people that lift you up. Make you wander. And just want to have fun. Make that friendship. Find those good friendships. Keep those good. If you have those good friendships. Keep them around. Don't lose them. And with that, we will see you in the next video. Bye.